Hi parents, before we start the episode, remember that your family can enjoy hundreds of fun and educational free videos for kids of all ages. Be sure to subscribe and get all the new shows and updates at PragerUKids.com. Prager you kids crafts history and your questions I'm Jill and today we're making friendship bracelets to honor our first responders oh we've got a question what is a first responder first responders are the first people to arrive at an emergency to help anyone in danger firefighters police officers search and rescue teams and paramedics are all first responders. It takes incredible courage, training, and hard work to become a first responder. They're our heroes, which is why we're celebrating them today. Want to know what you'll need for today's craft? Here you go. String, this is also known as decorative cord, beads, scissors, and tape. You can see that we're using everything in red, white, and blue. Now, red, white, and blue is, of course, patriotic, like our American flag, but these colors also represent the different types of first responders. Red is for firefighters, blue is for police officers, and white is for medical helpers. We're gonna start by cutting our string into equal lengths. Now, each string should end up at about two feet long. That's 24 inches. Go ahead and take the first one and measure it with the next so that they're all the same size. If they're not exactly the same length, it's okay. Two, and three. About the same size? Yeah, very good. Plenty long for a bracelet. Let's get going with the blue and the white now. Three white. Three blue, three red. Firefighters, police officers, and paramedics. Who remembers what red, white, and blue stands for? Red is for courage, white is for purity, and blue is for justice. Very good. What we're gonna do now is put all nine of our strings together and tie a knot, but you want to leave about four inches off the end. It's a little tricky with all nine strings, but it's possible. There we go, all nine strings and there we go, nice and tight. Mm. Put some muscle in it, tie it together. And we have plenty hanging off the edge here so that we can tie it to make a bracelet at the end. What we're gonna do now is tape your bracelet down to a table because we're gonna start braiding. <laughs> Two pieces. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> Firefighters have been around since the time of America's 13 colonies, hundreds of years ago. Now in those days, buildings and homes were mostly built out of wood and could easily catch fire. In 1679, the city of Boston created the first fire department that was paid for by the people. In 1736, Benjamin Franklin helped start the first volunteer fire company, the Union Fire Company in Philadelphia. Let's start braiding. Oh, do you know how to braid? No! I'll show you! It's really fun and totally easy once you get the hang of it. You braid with three strings. Watch what I do, and then you try. Take two pieces, braid one over to be in the middle, and then take the one on the outside and braid it to the middle. Take the one on the outside and cross it over to the middle, and then take this on the outside and cross to the middle. Tighten it up. You can sort of see a braid happening. You keep crossing over the strings from the outside to the inside until you get to the end. So you keep braiding to the middle, to the middle, to the middle. And oh yeah, didn't I say we had beads? Yeah! Time to take one bead when you get halfway down your braid, put one red bead, just like this, through the bead. Now, continue braiding. Let's measure it with my wrist. Oh, perfect length. Right about here, 
I'm going to tie another little knot around just like that, all three strings, just to hold it together. Now, blue. And how do you start to braid? Cross it in the middle. Crossed in the middle. Crossed in the middle. We should make a song. Let's talk about our blue now for our police officers. When America started building more cities with more people living in them, more emergencies and crimes started to happen. In 1844, the first police department in America was started in New York City. And soon, the cities of Boston, Chicago, Philadelphia, and other big cities around the country had police departments. Should we add a bead? Yeah, let's add our blue bead now. Blue bead onto the blue string and keep braiding. Once you reach the same point as your other braid, tie it in a knot. <laughs> Lastly, let's take our white string to learn about our emergency medical services or EMS. These are paramedics and search and rescue teams. Many say that emergency medical services started in 1862 during America's Civil War to help soldiers who were hurt in battle. After that war in 1865, the city of Cincinnati, Ohio created the first ambulance service for anyone who might be hurt in that area. Later, in 1945, the world's first helicopter rescue happened when two men were saved from an oil barge during a storm in the Atlantic Ocean. Let's braid our white. I almost forgot the bead! Don't let me forget. Not at the bottom. Almost there. There we go. Okay, so we have red, white, and blue. Now, for the big finish, let's braid all three of these together for our firefighters, our police officers, and our emergency medical services. Because yes, all of them are our heroes. Let's go. I'm gonna... Make sure I made it the right length. Yeah, not bad. Now let's go ahead and knot all of these together at the very bottom. Help! <laughs> I bet you a firefighter could do this no problem. <laughs> all right, knotted at the bottom. Put some muscle in it. Stronger than a search and rescue team. Just kidding. <laughs> oh wait! Did I mention anything about first responder therapy dogs? Yes, there are dogs to help firefighters, police officers, and paramedics. First responders work very long hours, and these dogs are specially trained to cuddle and perform tasks to help our heroes feel better on extra stressful days. Okay, last thing to do, tie it on your wrist. Uh, helping hands? Ta-da! <laughs> so fun, but so very meaningful. Our first responders are local heroes. There are about 4.6 million people who serve as emergency medical service professionals, firefighters, and law enforcement officers. These are the good men and women who come to help whenever anyone dials 911 for an emergency. Friendly reminder, only dial 911 if there is a real emergency. Next time you see one of these heroes, thank them for helping us and keeping us safe. We hope you had fun. If you've got ideas or questions for our next Craftery, send them our way. Keep crafting, keep learning, and keep celebrating Land of the Free and Home of the Brave. Bye, guys. I love it. <laughs>